Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another video. This is a little uh, daily vlog action, I guess you'd say, but I just got off work. Um, got a call from my dealer. My mower is done. I got the uh, hydro fluid switched out and got like six sets of blades sharpened up and um, actually got a new striper kit put on underneath the mower. So time to go pick that up. Uh, I got to get out of these work clothes, get in some comfy stuff and uh, we'll see you on the road. And there we go, that's much better. But the thing I don't like though is look at this. Snowflakes, we're never gonna get out of winter. But hey, soon enough, uh, soon enough. I can't wait. Everything is starting to kind of green up though. I'll take you over here and look at my front yard. So this over here, all that was overgrown like this. See all that stuff I gotta get taken care of out of there. But that is all new grass coming up. Got it overseeded big time last year. But we are starting to green up. There was no flower bed here last year. But when we bought this house, there was no flower bed, nothing. And uh, this would be the second year. So hopefully everything comes back pretty good. Um, gotta put a new edge on it and everything, but yeah. Excited. Everything greening up. Let's see. Uh, look at them freaking grasses coming in. What the heck is this? Is that chive? That's a dang onion. Ah, oh, freak. Oh. Look at this. Little onions. Some of the grasses are coming through. Uh, gold Mountain Spireas, Boxwoods, Grasses, Pasta, pretty low maintenance stuff, but hey, works good. Alright, got the trailer, truck, let's roll. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Are possibly 
what impacts them the most. Um, so it's these little things that could put me above uh, my competition. So uh, anyways, got those in, super stoked about those. You all right? You all right there, buddy? Well, that sticky stuff didn't last too long after I pulled it off there now, did it? Those agreement sheets that I had sent out, I would call them an agreement sheet, just a lawn care service sheet um, that I sent out to all my current customers so that way I can figure out what it is that they're wanting this year, um, whether they're wanting to continue service with us, um, wanting mulch done, anything extra they want done, or if They've decided they wanted to part ways with us, uh, but I have gotten a handful of those back, so I'm pretty excited about that, that uh, the customers have, you know, taken thought and uh, acted upon what I sent out to them, so that's a good thing. Um, two of them have actually asked for uh, mulch and spring cleanups this year, so that's a good upsell there. Um, I Just by sending a sheet out, I got an upsell, so I can't complain about that, but... Uh, so yeah, so those have turned out pretty good. I'll leave a link to that video um, in the description below. So that way, if you're uh, new to the channel and you want to check that out, um, the link will be down there for you. Well, just picked up the mower. Uh, spent uh, more than what I thought I was going to to get those fluids done. Um, but I guess, you know, that's the kind of the price you pay on having someone else do that work for me. Um, but, hey, you know, it comes with the territory. Um, I know next time I'm going to be doing it myself. Uh, I just needed to get it done with the weather that we've been having, um, where it's been pretty dang cold. Um, it was something that I didn't want to push to the arrival of season I guess you'd say um, I just wanted to get it done and over with so that way I know I'm ready for the season when it gets here um, but definitely next next time I'll get the tools to do it myself um, but hey come, like I said comes with the business comes with the territory uh, so it's done got it out of the way um, now the mower is really just ready to start making money <laughs> I'm definitely wanting to look into getting a blade sharpener. Um, Cause to get, let's see, I got nine blades sharpened. That costs like 75 bucks. You know, and with how often you sharpen blades, I mean, in a season, heck, before a season's up, I would have done spent the money to get them sharpened as it would just the cost to get a, a sharpener. So if you guys uh you guys know a good blade sharpener that's not stupid expensive but you know isn't the cheapest thing uh leave a comment down below let me know what you guys use to sharpen your blades. <laughs>